Atomization is when you, the regime attempts to make every individual in the society an isolated unit. It's one of the main ways that totalitarian systems seek to control their populations, make them all fear of each other, fearing to speak out and to act together, never telling a neighbor or even sometimes a family member what you really think. And that's why it's so important that you begin with these very, very low risk activities so that people can put their foot forward for the first time, put their toe in the water of revolutionary change. That's the foundation that we work on is changing the obedience patterns, moving the obedience to a willing obedience rather than a coerced obedience. By seeing the example of the demonstration of bravery by other people, now it's we, now it's we. And we can do something that I alone could not do. During the 96, 97, we were walking day after day after day, and the police was blocking streets, and our numbers were start falling because it was obviously too boring for the people to demonstrate every day in a harsh winter. So we said, okay, why won't we go home and try to make noise from our balconies? So we start hitting pots and pans, and they spread like fire throughout the Belgrade and other cities, and radio stations were, you know, transmitted. Oh, it is very loud in this neighborhood. Oh, these people are using the loudspeakers. Oh, there is a disco club joining the protest. And we were doing it from 7.30 to 8 p.m. as a response to the state TV news. That was the answer. The, this is what we, we, we don't watch your crap. We do our own thing. From the pots and pans to doing the stickers, so the stickers can be doing in every building. And also the things like, you know, will you go prosecute the kids for wearing Otpar t shirts when there is not one single law which bans wearing anything on a t shirt? So, for the policemen getting inside the high schools and arresting high school kids only because they were wearing the t-shirt and then going home and talking to their wife whose friend was complaining because her son was arrested. Having a dialogue with your kid who is coming now from his school where nobody wants to spend time with him or her because their father is you know, beating kids from my neighborhood. And now, you know, this systemic oppression doesn't work.